Hi, so welcome back to our channel and we have started our series on the noise, specifically the noise in electronics. In our previous model, we understood what noise is, what are the main sources or causes of noise and now we are going to focus on the different types of noise. In this module, we will specifically talk about the thermal noise. So it is one of the noise uh, found in the electronic system. It is intrinsic noise. That means it is inherent in the devices and the components widely used in electronics. So if we take an example, for example, here, the noise in a resistor, like I said in our previous module, any conductor having a resistance experiences this noise called as thermal noise. And the thermal noise is generated by the random motion of the charge carriers inside the uh, conductor or a semiconductor. Okay, the the material which has a resistance inside it, there is a movement of the charge carriers, usually the electrons, that is due to the temperature inside a piece of electrical conductor. And that's why it is called as thermal noise. So it is due to random motion of charge carriers due to the temperature. And this noise is also called as Johnson noise or Neckwise noise. And uh, as I said, the power of the noise is indicated by the uh, letter N, which is proportional to the Boltzmann constant Kb. T is the temperature and delta F is the bandwidth. So in a given bandwidth, this noise power in a piece of electrical conductor will increase if the temperature increases. And uh, Kb is the Boltzmann constant. So as the name suggests, it is a constant, okay? So we will now see uh, how this resistor experiences a noise and how to model this noise, which is thermal noise in a register. So here you can see that there is this register in a part A, which is as shown. And in the part B, we can model the noise present in this register by means of adding a voltage source called as noise voltage source. So this voltage source indicates the noise voltage in a register. So here we see that there is a noiseless register, we say, and in series with that, we add a value of voltage source, which is given by this expression, which is the RMS voltage square divided by delta F is equal to four times Kb, Boltzmann constant, multiplied by temperature and multiplied by the value of resistance R. So VRMS will then be equal to 4 Kb Tr, delta F comes here and taking a square root of it, okay? Similarly, you can represent the noise current source. So in a register, so you just model a register and in parallel with that, you add a current source, you call it as a noise current source and the value of that noise current source is obviously the IRMS, that is the RMS current square divided by delta F is equal to 4 KBT divided by R or IRMS will be then delta F will, will come here and then take a square root of it. So this is how you can model it. We will see it example through the example now. So there are a few characteristics of the thermal noise that we need to understand. For example, thermal noise is uh, also called as white noise or simply say thermal noise is white. So now what is white noise? White noise has a representation as shown in these two figures. So for example, if we take a look at this figure, so you see that the power spectral density of the noise which is white, is uh, shown as uh, as seen in this figure. It indicates the power. First of all, the power spectral density quantifies how much is the power a signal carries at a given frequency, and uh, we call the noise 
to be white noise if its PST, that is a power spectral density, is nearly equal throughout the frequency spectrum. So you see that here, you see the constant magnitude of the noise at all the frequency. So whenever you see such a graph, you say that its PSD is constant or equal nearly throughout the frequency spectrum and this characteristics is of the white noise and thermal noise is white noise. So uh, thermal noise has a uniform or white PSD. Now let us derive the three terms in the context of a resistor. So imagine you have this piece of resistors and uh, as just we explained, you have a resistor at temperature T, usually let's say a room temperature, which is shown in part A and in part B, we can model the noise voltage, RMS voltage of a noise in a register. So we do that by having a noiseless register and series with that we add a voltage source. We can also derive the model for the noise uh, present in the register by means of adding a current source in parallel with this noiseless register. So now we'll focus on how we derive this expression for the voltage, for the current, and therefore voltage multiplied by the current is equal to power. So there are three terms. First is noise voltage, second is noise current, and third is noise power. So what we see that there is a power spectral density. There is usually two-sided power PSD, uh, but uh, we are talking about the one-sided PSD or a voltage variance, which is also called as mean square of, of the voltage, of the noise voltage present in a resistor per hertz of a bandwidth is can be given as Vn square, take this notation right here, which is equal to four times Kb T into R, where Kb is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature, R is the value of the resistor itself. And so this uh, voltage variance or the mean square of the noise in a register is given by this equation. So if we take the value of register to be one kilo ohm, and we say we are operating the register at the room temperature of 300 Kelvin. So in that case, we would like to take the square root of this term and therefore taking square root of the both the sides of this equation, we can obtain this uh, mean square or uh, the, just a voltage variance without mean square uh, will be like this because square root and the square will cancel each other. So plugging all the values here, we see that uh, 4 into Boltzmann constant Kb is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per Kelvin into temperature. Look, this T term is here into 1 kilo ohm is the value of register. And this value of the voltage is uh, which is the RMS voltage is uh, given as uh, this value. So this is called as power spectral density or voltage spectral density, which is uh, given as 4.07 into 10 to the power minus 9 volts per square root hertz. And uh, now if we basically have to integrate, calculate in a given bandwidth, the contribution of this term. So what we do is that uh, RMS value of the voltage, just uh, which is Vn is the same as this because we have already taken the square root of the square. So Vn will be this term as it is, which is this value. And we multiply it with, with the square root of the bandwidth. So we have this formula uh, which is uh, 4kb t into r, taking a square root of it and multiplied by square root of delta f, okay? So this is how uh, you can calculate the RMS value of the noise voltage present in the register. So let's say you have a 1 kilo ohm register here and 10 kilo is, is the bandwidth. Then the RMS voltage by plugging all the values will be calculated to be 400 nanovolt for a 10 kilohertz bandwidth and the value of register 1k. So rule of thumb that you can remember is that if you have a 50 ohm resistance 
and one hertz bandwidth that will correspond to to a one nanovolt noise at the room temperature. So in a register, you have one nanovolt of noise at a room temperature. So uh, if you know the value of the noise voltage, you can always calculate how much is the power, which is noise power present in a register. So a register, uh, when you connect, uh, make it a short circuit, dissipates basically a noise uh, power, the value of which is given as power equal to voltage square divided by the value of register itself. So Vn square, is uh, basically this term 4 kb times t times r which you plug in here and divided by it r so r r get cancelled so therefore it is 4 kb t uh, into delta f actually so delta f uh, will also come here because you have to uh, calculate in a given bandwidth right uh, so Noise current, obviously, is the voltage divided by the resistor. So you know the, what is Vn, the square root of this term divided by the square root of the resistor R. So just take a square root of it. So it is 4 kb T times delta F multiplied by the R taking a square root. So this is how you can calculate. And this is what this formula is. Noise current is given by this formula. You just manipulate the terms, take the delta F here and take a square root, you get this value. Here also, uh, noise voltage, delta F, take it to the right side and take a square root of the right hand side term to get the value of VRMS, which is given by this term, okay? So that is all about the thermal noise. Uh, we saw what the thermal noise is, and we also understood how to model the thermal noise uh, power thermal noise voltage and thermal noise current in a register at a room temperature or we can also calculate this contribution of these terms at any given temperature for a given value of a resistance in a given bandwidth okay so obviously we also saw the thermal noise increases with the temperature and as the temperature is uh, rising the noise contribution will also rise so we need to adapt the techniques to reduce the contribution of the thermal noise while doing the electronic circuit and the system design. So hope you like this video, understood the content, and if you did so, click the like button, share it with others, comment as your opinion, and uh, till then stay tuned for uh, more engaging contents like this, and uh, till then wish you happy learning.